which makes it nice. And it only weighs 1.9 pounds, which is very lightweight compared to its competitors. Uh, some of those are in the two to three pound range. So today what I'm going to talk about is the 10 best features of the Durabook R8 tablet. Durabook was nice enough to send us in this demo unit. We've uh, got a, a pre-sale look at it. This thing isn't due out in production until the end of January 2023. So we're, we're really happy to be able to talk to you about it today. Of the top 10 features, number 10 happens to be the Intel Wi-Fi 6E AX211 broadband. So you're able to connect to any hotspot to get on the internet and it's the latest technology. It also has Bluetooth version 5.2 in case you need that Bluetooth connection for other devices. Number nine is how upgradable it is. This particular unit has an upgraded slot right here. Now you get a choice when you, whenever you purchase it. Do you want the barcode reader like this one has? Or do you want the RF, uh, the RFID uh, scanner? Or do you want the smart card reader? Either one, either one of those threes would fit right here in their upgrade slot. Number eight is this is a fully fanless design. That means there's no fan to keep it cool. It doesn't need it. Uh, Durabook made a, try, was trying to make it as lightweight and small as possible. Number seven comes with the powerful 12th generation Intel Core processor. So you're getting one of the newest processors in this tablet. Number six, it is IP66 certified. Wait a second, Bob, what does that mean? We don't know what IP means. Well, you should know what IP means. That rating, I talked about it in a video earlier, and I'm gonna leave the link right up here so you guys can go and refresh your memory as to what IP66 really means. Just a quick preview. It means how dust resistant and water resistant the tablet is. It's also, beholden to the military standard 810H and the military standard 461G certified, which gives it all sorts of cool radiation uh, protection, vibration, shock. We can throw it around. It's just as rugged as some of your other Durabook laptops like the Z14i and that sort of thing. It's built to a, a higher standard. So number four, how small this thing is. I mean, you gotta admit, it's got a nice screen and it's running Windows 10. So for small and it's a Windows machine, makes it fantastic. I mean, let's face it, it's 8.94 inches wide, 5.91 inches thick, or, or you know, this length, and it's 0.81 inches thick which makes it nice and it only weighs 1.9 pounds, which is very lightweight compared to its competitors. Uh, some of those are in the two to three pound range. Take the Dell 7212 or 7220. They're very heavy. Uh, number three, it has an eight inch LCD. That's fantastic. I mean, the competition is much larger and that's probably why they're a little bit heavier. Uh, the screen is also daylight readable with an 800 nit rating. Oh, what does nit mean? I knew you were going to ask that question. And I also have a video that goes over what nit means. It's just the rating of the, the not the rating, but the uh, unit of measure they use on how daylight readable this screen is. Number two is it has four touch modes. It can be even wet and you can still use the touch screen. The touch screen works in a wet environment. So it can be raining and you can still use the touch. It's also glove touch. So there's a lot of ways that you can use this touch screen. But the best feature of this R8 is the long battery life. That's right. And when I tell you the number of hours that this battery will last, I'm first gonna show you where the battery's at. It happens to be right here and it's only this small. 
This battery lasts 16 hours. That's right, 16 hours of use. So if you work two eight-hour days, you wouldn't have to charge this tablet for two days. That's not bad. Um, so that is my favorite feature on this is the long battery life. Our, the competition doesn't have that advantage. Well, that's all I got for you on, these, on, on this video about the R8. I will tell you, it's a fantastic, cool little tablet, and I really like it. Until next time, see you guys.